Hey guys, Ryan here, and today I'm bringing you our first game of the playoffs, the pro playoffs. Unfortunately, we were an elite, but we stopped playing games, and at the end of the month when we went to play playoffs, we were in pro, so just letting you guys know, just to avoid the whole comment thing. Anyways, uh, what I'm here to talk about, actually, rather than the playoffs, is an idea that popped into my head. Well, it's not like 100% my idea, but um, I decided to take this into my hands to get to the community. So, I don't know how many of you have heard about a high stakes hut game before. And this is weird because I have ESHL gameplay and I'm talking about hut. But, anyways, what it is is it's sort of like pinks for racing, okay? You face someone and whoever wins gets something, like, except you're not betting cars. So, um, for example, on my team, I've got Rene. Not like I'm trying to sell him, but say I was playing with him and, uh, I, I would bet him at the beginning of the game. So I'd put up my Rene, and he would put up someone, like, equally to that. Or you could do this with pucks, too. It usually works better with players, but say, like, I wanted to play a really high-stakes game, I could put up, like, 50,000 pucks on the line. Whoever wins that game gets 50,000 pucks from the other person. So it, like, it's awesome because it's so competitive, and um, I haven't really done any of these myself, to be honest. Like, I did one against Studs Hockey, but that was just for fun. Um, but Deekasaurus and Studs Hockey did one on uh, Deek's live stream last night, and that was pretty fun to watch because it was so intense. Uh, what they were playing for, they were playing for 10k, which was still fun to watch. Like, it's n nothing insane, but uh, if they were actually betting players, because they've got some crazy people on their team, like what Studs proposed was uh, Kovalchuk, uh, Deeks Kovalchuk, and he'd put up his uh, start of the week, Jordan Stahl. So I thought that would have been crazy fun to watch, but I understand, like, that's a big player to be betting on. That's, like, at least 100k pucks you might lose in just a simple game. Like, you could make a simple mistake, lose 100,000 pucks. But that's why it's so competitive. Uh, it's awesome, because I'm sure most of you guys are competitive people. I'm pretty sure most people are and it's just really fun sometimes you just want to play the game to have fun and that's what normal normal tournaments are you can just have fun do whatever go for some nice clips whatever you want and um i think they could even put this in nhl 13 well maybe not but if they include this in nhl 14 i could go more in depth into it if you guys do want to uh, learn more about it and i was also thinking about setting up a tournament so maybe you guys are interested um I don't know really how I'll set it up yet, but uh, I think it'd be really cool just just to like play against people because it, like I said, I've said competitive like a hundred times, but it, it'd be so much more fun, I think. Uh, but anyways, that's, that's pretty much it for now, guys, and um, leave a comment below your thoughts on the NHL 13 Pinks tournament or uh, putting it in NHL 14 even. But uh, that's all for now, guys. We will see you next time.